All right, what's up, guys? I'm here. I'm at the junkyard. Me in Memphis, Tennessee, man. Uh, a whole lot of goodies out here I done seen, man. It's in a lot of shit. I'm over here in the Ford section. Uh, all American. Man, it's a lot of good shit out here, man. It's a lot of good shit. Uh, I actually came across me a T5, a Tremega, and a TKO out here. And it said bad trans on, uh, on the, uh, the one with the, the Tremega and the T5 in it. But I already know it's probably the Synchros. I'm probably gonna come back and get that. But anyway, uh, this is a four or five hundred. It's two thousand five, four or five hundred. I ain't seen too many videos on on YouTube showing what a crankshaft position said and all this shit. Of course, you know it's gonna be located near the crank somewhere. But I'm gonna show y'all for those who don't know. Uh, you can actually remove this crank on this car on this 3.0 V6 uh, without jacking the car up. Uh, now, you can jack it up just to get a little bit more extra room, you know, to make it work a little bit more easy, but it's not required. And if you're going to jack your car up, please use the proper um, safety uh, measures to ensure your safety, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you want to use jack stands and uh, all that type of good stuff, protective eyewear and gloves. Me, I'm a good old boy, you know. I can see my hands. Uh, anyway, I'm going to show y'all what the crankshaft position sensor is on here. And I might also even show you what a camshaft position sensor is. Of course, you know, the alternator is back here on these fucking cars. All the way at the bottom. Firewall. And it's got to come through this little bit of asshole. Which it is doable. Um, you have to get it from up underneath and pull it out through this small little hole right here to get the alternator, okay? And it's three bolts, one right there. I mean, it's two on the bottom, and it's one at the top. Uh, a lot of times, if you get one that ain't never been changed, so it has this protective splash guard on it to keep from getting water splashing up on the alternator. Since, since some, some fucking genius has decided to put the alternator in the back of the fucking engine at the bottom. Alright, well with all that being said, okay, you come up here, you remove this splash guard, because right now you'll probably, you'll have a splash guard on it, it's never been removed. You will come right here, here's the crank, and you look right here behind the crank, there's the crankshaft position sensor, okay, simple, easy, and I don't understand why there ain't no fucking videos on there showing this, but I'm showing it. There's the crankshaft position sensor. It's one eight millimeter nut, I mean bolt. Uh, when you first take it off, it's gonna be kinda tight to get it off, but you wanna be kinda careful because you wanna strip and break it off and uh, you're in a whole lot of trouble. Um, work it free. It has a uh, a tab, a lock tab on the, disc, on the connector. Uh, I've seen a lot of people break these off. What you want to do is you want to squeeze in the tab and push up first. Push up and then pull off. It'll come right off. All right. And we go over here. I can show y'all. And this is more difficult because you have all this shit in the way and it's tight. The camshaft sensor, which may require you to remove your hoses and don't you know, Break the wire on the free from the stud. Uh, let me see if I can show you how this. Which is in a fucked up spot. But the camshaft sensor is right under this. And you get this harness up. If you can get it up enough on the, you know, break it free. I'm try to break it free. I usually put it back like that. As far as I can. It's right there. See that connector right here? It's a connector right here. Y'all can see it. Right here, one second. That is the camshaft position sensor. Yeah. It's a fucking pain in the ass because it's tight. I mean, it's right here, but it's stupid motherfucker put all this shit right here. 
I usually just push the line over like that about that much to get ready to get my hand in here. And you're gonna have a tab right here on the front. <clears throat> just pull it off. Somebody's already broken the tab on here. This connector right here. And the camshaft position is right here. It also has a, you can see it right there, the gray end. It also has an 8mm uh, nut on it. Thank you guys for watching this video. This is only 4500 the year 05 to 07. That is the location of the camshaft position sensor, which is at the top where I just showed you, and the crankshaft position sensor, which is at the bottom of the car. This is 05500. Um, kind of similar on the other Fords with the 3.0s in them, the Freestyle, the, the Taurus, the, uh, the Mercury Milan, the, no, a couple other vehicles, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, this, this is it. So, uh, if you have any comments in the section and you want to know any type of additional information as far as dealing with vehicles, you know, send me, uh, a comment in the, in the, in the link in the description and we'll, we'll get to it, you know, see if we can answer some questions or help anybody out. Because, you know, uh, oftentimes, Often more times notice, you know, I also require help, you know, and I seek it too. You know, not just power, not just key. And it's it is a, a very, very precious valuable thing to possess knowledge and pass it on, you know. You should never be selfish with knowledge, so this is free. Uh, all I want, you know what I'm saying, is uh, a like or a comment in the description. And we can keep this going. Please subscribe. Uh, look at some of my other videos. Watch my builds. My 302 builds. 306 builds. Uh, V8 swaps. Uh, I got a lot of content that I'm going to upload on there. That I have recorded. So be staying, staying, uh, stay tuned for those videos as well. And uh, see if we can get this thing started. Alright y'all. Alright. Um, well, just be prepared for the next one, all right? Y'all have a good one. God bless.